I'm with Magnus from Browser Use, and today we're going to talk about if AI is going to take all of our jobs. What do you think, Magnus? Yeah, so currently at Browser Use, we, I mean, we automated millions of, of workflows already, what people put in. And until now, all that I get from, from customers is there's not a single workflow where I would say I would love to do that. For example, customers ask me to fill out their forms or to create a new lead in their CRM or to test this one website 100 times if this button is still working. So all the workflows which they ask us for are kind of super repetitive and I would say super boring and no one would like to do them theirself. So I think it's a huge enabler for AI taking boring stuff from us. Now, if you're thinking about it, those models get smarter and smarter and and yeah, have more and more functionality. I'm personally really excited about that you could type in a prompt and those agents, they can spin up 100 tabs at the same time, get the results, fill out forms and bring them back to you. So I think the efficiency boost, especially for parallel processing, because humans can always only be at one tab in the browser, but those agents, they could go to millions at the same time. It's always an interesting discussion if is AGI going to come and take everything that, you know, all knowledge work maybe, or even when we have robots, all, a lot of physical work. And I guess where I stand is it might happen, but I try not to think about that because then all that we're doing doesn't really matter. I don't think it's going to happen immediately. And so what can we do now to just keep using the tools to being more efficient and to help us, you know, yeah. increase our output? For me, it's interesting that in, I'm from the south of Germany and 200 years ago, 75% of people were farmers back then. Nowadays it's 2%. So it, it changed a lot because machines could take over physical job or support us in them. And nowadays we see similar things with, with cognitive work, that AI can take more and more of our cognitive work. What's quite interesting for me is that all those jobs where you do something with other humans, for example, an influencer, where you get paid because of your status, or Magnus Carlsen, who is an awesome chess, chess player, even though they are, they are AIs who can play much better chess than him. They still make, make money, and I think so, even uh, post-AGI, Magnus Carlsen will still be there and people will watch him and he get paid because of advertisement or because of attention span of humans. So I think that's definitely a, a big industry which will still exist. Thanks, Magnus.